yesterday we read through the three branches of government and what they are responsible for. We read through the executive branch, legislative branch, and judicial branch. Now, let's continue our text and find out how they influence the way we live. Today, we will read and gather evidence to help us understand the main idea of the text. Transportation. Government officials and agencies handle the infrastructure of states. An infrastructure is the base or foundation of a system. One part of a state's infrastructure is transportation. This means the state takes care of its own roads, highways, and public transportation. Roads, highways, and public transportation greatly affect a state's citizens. Highways, streets, bridges, and tunnels connect communities. It is the state government's responsibility to maintain them so that people can travel and transport goods safely. State workers build and maintain roads and highways. They also repair bridges and tunnels. States collect taxes, tolls, and other fees from his citizens to help pay for this work. This is a critical responsibility of state governments. As Christopher Dodd, a former Connecticut state senator said, America's highways, roads, bridges are an indispensable part of our lives. They link one end of our nation to the other. We use them each and every day for every conceivable purpose. Public health and safety. The state government also protects the health and safety of its citizens. State governments run hospitals to care for sick people. State police patrol the highways to keep people safe. They also monitor the grounds of parks and other public spaces now owned by the state. If a child is missing, the state police can issue an Amber Alert. This tells all the police and reporters in the region that a child could be in danger. Everyone can then work together to locate and return the child to safety. Education. State governments are responsible for educating their citizens too. They work with cities and towns to set up school districts, which are run by local school boards. The state government gives school boards some of the money they need to hire teachers and purchase books and other materials. Most state governments fund about 50% of the money needed to run public schools. The rest comes from the federal and local governments. Most states also have state colleges and universities where students can seek a higher education. State schools are public institutions and often less expensive than private schools. Funds for education and health make up the largest part of most state budgets. As I was reading the transportation section, I noticed a new word, infrastructure. Luckily, I was able to use my context clues and then that sentence actually defined it for me because I didn't know what infrastructure meant. But after reading it, I see an infrastructure is the base or foundation of a system. So if I want to think of a house, sometimes houses have basements, sometimes houses are just on a slab of concrete. That's like a foundation It's something that's the basement or that foundation is holding up the house. So government officials and agencies are handling the base of what's holding up the state, which is pretty cool. I noticed too that this gov these government officials uh, take care of roads, highways, public transportation. That greatly affects us state citizens because without these roads, highways, or buses, or um, trains, we wouldn't be able to get very far and our parents wouldn't be able to get to work and things like that. They connect communities and they're responsible to maintain them so that people can travel and transport goods safely. 
but hate to drive on a road that has so many potholes in it, you know? So this government is able to take care of that and make sure those potholes are filled up. They build and maintain roads and repair bridges and tunnels. And they even collect taxes, tolls, and other fees from citizens. So my main idea off to the side, putting it in my own words, is that transportation is critical to citizens' lives and it is the state government's job to take care of it. Reading that next section of the public health and safety, I notice that the government is protecting us with the health and safety of its citizens. They run the hospitals, the state uh, police patrol the highways to make sure people are safe driving. They monitor the grounds of parks and other public spaces. They also can issue Amber Alerts for when kids go missing or things like that. So off to the side there, I wanna write that section's main idea. State governments are responsible for protecting the health and safety of its citizens. And I can always go back and see, well, what does that mean? How can I support that? Oh, I can support that by they run hospitals. I can support that because the police patrol the highways. The next slide, we're gonna be doing that for education. The main idea of the education section is state governments are responsible for educating its citizens. What details from the text support this? I want you to highlight the key details in this paragraph using the highlighter tool. Make sure it supports that main idea that they're responsible for educating its citizens. State governments are responsible for educating their citizens too. They work with cities and towns to set up school districts which are run by local school boards. The state government gives school boards some of the money they need to hire teachers, purchase books and other materials. Most state governments fund about 50% of the money needed to run public schools. The rest comes from the federal gov and local governments. Most states also have state colleges and universities where students can seek a higher education. State schools are public institutions and often less expensive than public schools. Funds for education and health make up the largest part of most state budgets. Yikes, what's going on in this picture? Tomorrow, we will be reading about how government helps us in times of need, especially natural disasters. We will also dive in how we all work together to make one great country.